soon, you will have no chance of qualifying your fundamental mistake for stage to build into it. Hey James, it's Jensen. Uh, James, so obviously we're in FP3 now, but looking forward to, to qualifying. You, you know a little bit about strategy, so you, are you guys ready for uh, the craziness of, of, uh, of first qualifying, first part of qualifying? I, I don't think you can ever really be ready for it, but the, the something interesting this year, this might not be that interesting for most, but the, the tyres actually only have one good lap in them, which is just not normal. Normally you always have a couple of good laps you can pull out the tyres, but the, the soft is definitely now after a single time lap dropping off quite significantly and that's going to make qualifying a bit of a challenge normally you'd sort of almost put fuel in for the whole session treat it like a wet session circulate go around put ups on the board and i think you're going to see a very different qualifying this year in monaco as a result making q1 even more tricky james with all due respect is that just something that's unique to williams or is that also affecting the cars that have been going for, for top five and I, I think you're seeing with everyone, uh, Crofty, it, it, it was a pattern we noticed actually more so with the faster teams than, the, than perhaps ourselves. So the, the more energy you're putting through the tyre, the faster you're going around the track, the more it, it certainly impacts you. And if you look across yesterday's times, you'll start to see that when, when you know where the track's doing, where it's moving, that the evidence was all there. So James Anthony here. Um, so the sole focus now really is just qualifying.